Hey everyone, Case of Man Rules here. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This video tutorial is about a software called RainMeter. RainMeter is a freeware program and it brings you these desktop widgets that you see around my screen right down here. The time, the date, you can have weather, RSS, and a couple of system specifications and readouts down there. So, RainMeter is basically uh, a program that is completely customizable and what you do with it is you um, there are things called configs and as you see over here in the corner where my mouse is you see rain meter it runs in your system tray if you right click you'll see configs over here are all the configs that I've added tranquil is the one that will come with it and you'll see that in a minute when you download it but right over here you see HUD vision enigma and 10 foot HUD all these I've added so what you have here pretty much is um, just these completely customizable skins is what it is that's what a config basically is and even if you go down here it calls it a skin and this is the weather one right over here these this is just code that runs it and people create these for free and you can find them all over the internet just google them so today I'm going to be showing you how to get these this program rain meter and how to get some of the best configs including the ones that I have here so open up your Firefox to begin with and first let's get rain meter right over here uh, rain meter Google code uh, this is their Google code page and if you go down here um, you'll see featured downloads you have 32 bit 64 bit depends on what you're on so whatever you're on click the corresponding download and it'll automatically come up download it however you want I've already done it to save time for this video as you can see because I got the error and um, so just do that it's a pretty quick download pretty small and before you do anything with it just go on and get a couple of configs here um, let's go on over uh, the link for this one will be in the description the site that hosts it is currently down it, well it's not necessarily down but it's being redesigned so there's no way to li uh, like link to it really but it there's a direct link to the download that I can get so that's what's gonna be in the description but you can't really browse for it is what I'm trying to say but I have a picture of what this one does and these are right here this and this right up here with the weather so um, if you zoom in here a little bit which hardly did anything you can see that they're available in black or white you can place them around the screen and they they blend really well with a lot of desktops and that's why I think they're cool so check that one out it's called 10 foot HUD and that link will be in the description Another one which is probably the most popular in existence is called Enigma. Enigma is like the skin to have for Rain Meter. If you click on um, this page, which will also be in the description, there's a picture. And you'll see that around the screen you have these, um, like all of them. And there's so many with the skin. So uh, you have like over here, calendar, news. I mean, you can run, at, you can launch applications over here you have you know CPU you have everything so it's really useful and uh, this is on DeviantArt the link will of course be in the description just click download and get that so what you'll end up with in your downloads folder is this right here the rain meter install enigma and 10 foot HUD so first let's run the install for rain meter uh, that'll come up click I agree choose your shortcuts wherever you want them click next choose where you want to install it to and click install I'm not gonna do it because I already have it of course now once you have it you'll come up with this in the corner go to configs and you'll only have tranquil and if you open up tranquil it's kinda dumb I don't really like how it looks I think it's pretty ugly actually so just go to skin menu and close skin but um you can try it just try it out before uh, extracting the other ones just to see kinda what it's like um, so when you're ready to do your next skins, the good ones, um, browse for it in your computer. Uh, extract it with either 7-zip, WinRAR, or the included Windows extracting tool. And when you extract it, it's not too big so it won't take too long. And open it up. And you'll see in here there's all of these right here. And what you pretty much got to do is uh, go to instructions and just follow the instructions that are in there it's pretty simple see it says how to install all you have to do is run the setup.exe 
Uh, no, never mind. That's for rain meter. My bad. Um, all right. So what you have to do is when you open this up, just go on down to the long way. The short way doesn't really make a lot of sense. So uh, just what you have to do is once you get this Enigma by Kaleri or whatever, uh, just cut it and browse for your rain meter install. So go to Computer Windows Program Files and browse for rain meter. Open that up. You'll see skins right there and paste it right in there. You're probably going to want to leave this open for the next one too, so just minimize that and extract the next one, 10 foot HUD and that one was really quick and um, open that one up and do the same thing, just um, uh, cut, or cut and paste that right into your skins folder. Then what you have to do is restart rain meter and you go to configs and you'll have these so now what you can do is you can uh, go to configs and click on it. When you do Enigma, it's kind of nice because it'll come up with this one, which is actually a config, but here it is. It's actually config, but it will open up other ones. It's kind of like a nice user interface for it. So you click on um, notes. This little notes one right over here opens up, and you can... Uh, write in it, I'm pretty sure. There it is, and it opens up notes.text. Uh, so write in, just, I'm gonna do it like case of man rules, hello world, and if you go to uh, skin menu and refresh skin, you'll see right there it appears. So it's a really cool program, very useful, very customizable, which I like a lot. I actually just close it all, I don't know why. But um, that is something you have to watch out for, though. I guess I should explain it to you guys. Um, when I have to wait for this to start up here, but it's kind of difficult in the right-click menu. You see right here, you want to just click Exit to think to exit the skin. That'll actually exit the whole program. So go to Skin Menu and Close Skin. Just a nice tip to remember, just to make sure you don't, you know, have to restart it every single time you want to close the skin. All right, guys, this is pretty much the video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And um, the way you can help me out is by visiting my website, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and rating this video, and all the other things you guys know that help out a YouTuber. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.